right guys now let's work with differentiation right now we know that these are the formulas and we derive them using first principles also and a couple of them I've done in the CD and rest of it are there in the full version you can buy that now before I start couple of things to know very important differentiation is all about knowing these many formulas alright then what is the difficult part of differentiation look at this now if you don't have y is equal to sine x plus e power x now that's simple the two functions here and they're connected with the plus sign so what I do is I differentiate them using the formulas which I know differentiation of sine x is what the first guy cos x and differentiation of e power x is what e power x itself. that's my answer right see I didn't do anything just know the formulas right here that's it right when do I have complicated differentiation is now if all I have y is equal to sine x into e power x now this multiplied now let us talk about a rule in differentiation right we call this rule as belting rule right belting fighting rule right simple as that now the rule says I can belt or I can fight with only one person or in this case I can differentiate only one function now what if these guys look together in this case I can see that they're coming one after the other first sign came I belted then e power x can be belted it's done very simple now what if they're coming together like this they're coming together two of them together so the first thing I have to do is separate them so how will I separate them it goes like keep the first guy and differentiate the second guy so you rest belt him the next thing e power x into d by dx of sine x so the second guy is resting the belt the first guy right simple as that now this is called belting rule or basically in terms of differentiation is called as product rule we would follow more layman language what we understand all right so simple as that so they come in a different fashion what did I do I separated them right and here also you can see you're differentiating only one function who's that e power x here and here it is sine x so if at all I have to complete the problem is go sine x you know differentiation of e power x is what e power x itself plus e power x into differentiation of sine x is what cos x so basically I differentiated one function only all right so it can be more complicated like this you have y is equal to let's say sine x divided by root x now there are two functions but they're coming in a different fashion all right they're coming together next to each other these guys are coming by one by the other now can I belt them the same way no the belting rule is a little different it's called as quotient tool here what I do here is again I differentiate one at a time but right now I'll tell the denominator guy to stay and differentiate the numerator minus tell the newer guy to say and differentiate the denominator again it's belting divided by root x the whole square now this is a different style of fighting that's it again I can see that I'm differentiating only one fellow right so root x remains and uh, differentiation of sine x is cos x minus sine x remains differentiation of root x is what 1 by 2 root x now what am I doing here differentiation is only so much and the rest of it is how do I separate the given functions and and get them alone so that I can differentiate them that's all about it this is what is called learning differentiation I just give an example we'll go step by step now we'll see how to differentiate simple problems and in the next videos and in the next section I will guide you how to learn differentiation of complicated problems alright so we have chain rule coming up and we have all the mixed things coming up like product chain and quotient rule together this we'll learn later in the next videos we'll see how to differentiate the simple problems that is single single functions only alright this is a practice session that's it